Hello, I'm Lord of the Puzzle, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Randomized. We're going to be finishing off the Discord run this run, so let's get started with going to level 7, where I believe the step ladder is. Now, if you remember from earlier episodes, we actually have been to level 7 before. Um, unfortunately, we just started the run, so didn't really feel like doing all the things. And here I'm going to be showing a neat little trick you can do with the Dongos. If you remember in the original quest, there's a hint that says the Dongo dislikes smoke. Well, if you, as you can see, if you place a bomb that in such a way that it explodes right in front of the Dongo's face, but that it doesn't swallow it, it'll stun the Dongo, and if you hit it with your sword, it'll kill it in one hit and pretty much always drop bombs. So it's actually a pretty good way of getting bombs if you're, well, skilled enough to do it. It's actually really hard to pull off. It's best to do it if they're moving sideways, and it's really hard to do it if they're moving up and down. Now here I show off one of the best uses of the wand, even after you get it and you have things that are much stronger than it. You can swing the wand even if you're affected by bubbles, so in a room where there's bubbles and there's enemies that you really do not want to touch you, like a wall monster or a light pike, you can still swing the wand and it'll act as just like a white sword, but it won't be affected by the bubbles, so you can swing it whenever. As you can see here, I'm not always 100% accurate with the trick, but I tend to be really good with it when I'm down to one or two bombs and I lose, every, lose all my bombs if I, don't, if I manage to screw it up. As you can see as I go through the menu, I did actually take some time to grind out some money so that I bought a magical shield, bait, and a red potion. I don't know if I'll need the mate because you could possibly not even run into the Grumble Grumble uh, variety that uh, is in level 7. If the layout plays nicely, we want to run into it. And there are uh, randomized layouts that actually place the Grumble Grumble guy in a position where even if you give him the bait, it just goes into a wall or something. So it really renders the bait like totally useless as there is no other use for it other than giving it to that one guy. It says in the manual that you can place it and attract enemies, but it doesn't do anything. Thank you. 
this run seems to really like to place Aquamentai in really weird spots. One nice trick if you find items that are in spots where you can't reach it, just use an arrow and it'll grab it like a boomerang. And there's our stepladder! Now, now that I know the Triforce is in the next room, I am going to go ahead and go and cut out money running to level 4. Now that I have the step ladder and I can finish it, I'm just going to go and cut straight to level 4, so... Sorry, no more Magic of Shares on music, at least in this run. Now, since we have so much gear going into basically the middle dungeon, or just below the middle dungeon, this should be pretty easy. And we've gotten a good chunk of it already done, so I don't even know if I'm going to bother finding if I, I can't remember if I got the item, but I don't know if I'm going to even bother, because what else could I get that would be better than what I already have? Big Dogger gazes near the desert. Well, we already beat level 5, so that really doesn't mean anything.
I could go ahead and pick up the Triforce, but I still can look for the heart container. There's not that many rooms left. Well, now that I can safely say that level 4 is done, I'm going to go ahead and cut again, and this time I'll be going to level 6, which is the last dungeon we'll need to beat before getting, er, before getting to level 9. And as it holds the last piece of Triforce, as we can't get to level 9 until we have all the Triforce. Oh, and before I went to level 6, um, I should say that I got that heart container that's hidden on the very right side of the map, the one that you need the step ladder to get to. I figured I, I was right by it with level 4, so I might as well go and get it. Nice that the uh, heart container was pretty close to the entrance. I am not going to bother even trying to get light light to the sword. I do not want to lose my magical shield bags. If you can't, if you don't remember, the weird moving things, like likes, they do what they do in every Zelda game. They eat your shield, and there, in this game, there is no way you can get it back. You have to buy another one. I know I practically have the infinite supply with you by being able to put, screw around with the gambling game. But I, I just don't want to deal with it. By the way, a interesting glitch that can happen with uh, the game making the uh, sampled monster roar. If say that there's a monster that makes that roar, and there's just the open Triforce that you can just go ahead and pick up while the monster's still alive, if you pick up the Triforce without killing the monster, that roar will continuously go in a loop as you play the game, because there's no way that you can shut it off because unless you go back you can try to fight the monster. Yeah, that's something that can happen, especially with the randomizer. There's no real way that you can trigger it in the actual game, but they're being randomized. And I'm not even gonna bother going with the item. We're going into level nine, as I don't think that there's any good items in here. In fact, I remember it's just from hearing one of the uh, little hints that it's the book. 
So there is no reason that we need to get the book. Now that we have all the Triforce, we can go into level 9. Now level 9 in the randomizer is kind of weird, especially with this kind of preset. Since there is no... Um, since everything's randomized, all you need to do is find Zelda. There she is. So, if you know where Zelda is, and you go and try and find her, you don't actually have to fight Ganon. So... The whole story thing about you having all three pieces of Triforce, uh, the game doesn't enforce that. And here's a nice little thing. It says pretty much that Ganon's in the top left. But, spoiler, as you can see from how long it was left in the video, we don't bother with that. Oh, hey, it's all. Don't you need the piece of the Triforce that Ganon has? Oh, nope, we win. The hero of Hyrule that didn't actually kill the thing that was causing Hyrule to be bad in the first place. Yeah, I'm actually uh, glad that I was able to show this off. This is why certain presets will actually... Not only certain presets, but there's an option that forces you to fight Ganon before going to rescue Zelda. It kind of is weird that you can just go run into Zelda. If level 9 is even unlocked, you can just go in right as you start the game. And this will end the Discord run. I hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of mid-level randomization. The next run will be a little bit more randomized and is where I think things really start to get interesting. And I asked uh, in my Something Awful thread uh, what you guys wanted to see. And I got some definitive answers. And we'll hopefully see shortly what you all picked. I think you all enjoy it as I'm look or I'm looking forward to it as it is one of the more interesting randomized presets. Thank you for watching. I hope to be back soon.